Hello, I'm Natasha Foreman. Welcome to the Breaking Bread with Natasha podcast, where I share daily devotionals from my namesake blog. So you can listen on demand to spiritual messages inspired by God's love, as expressed in the Bible and other religious texts. You can read along at breakingbreadwithnatasha.com or sit back and take in the word. Either way, I'm blessed to have you break bread with me. Without further delay, let's begin today's message. Welcome Breaking Bread family. This is Natasha Foreman. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's look at the book of Titus chapter 2 line 11 and the translation that I'm reading says for the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. Let me first start off by saying happy first day of October. <laughs> Can you believe it? It's like we blinked and we're already in October. <laughs> Hopefully you haven't allowed any external factors to disrupt or derail too many of your plans because I guarantee you that nothing has derailed God's plans. Now, seeing this passage in Titus lifted me up and put a smile on my face. God's grace offers salvation to all people, not some, not a special group, but all. God's grace extends to believers, conditional believers, and non-believers. Look at how much he loves us. Oh my goodness. I... I reflect on God's greatness and the fact that he's never let me down or left me alone. So I should never have reason to worry. I should walk in gratitude, not fear. God has no limits, so my age and skill level should never be a concern of mine. God can make happen whatever he wants whenever he wants so it doesn't matter if we're age two or 102 he can do anything with my increasing faith i should not worry but instead i should smile and keep pressing forward god and jesus have me covered i just have to keep marching serving god and helping his children when times get tough i can lean on Jesus' shoulder while being encircled by God's arms. <laughs> a triple blessing is knowing that my family is also there for me. I am reminding of a, of a saying, if you're going to worry, then why pray? And if you're going to pray, then why worry? And this is true. Yet when these words used to be recited to me years ago, I found myself still worrying about my finances and health and relationships and other things. Sadly, years later, I still do. <laughs> like when I worry, I'm telling God and Jesus that I just don't trust them to do what I need or to keep a promise that they made. It's as blunt and as pitiful as that. I'm not mature enough yet to stop worrying 100%. What I am capable of is continuing to pray and dream, work and serve and believe what I know to be true. I pray the same for each of you. Whatever is meant for us will never be withheld or given to another person. Focus on remaining faithful, committed, disciplined, obedient, and truthful. God is good all the time. Through good times and catastrophes, he is unchanging. What he does not offer in grace, he offers in mercy. And we all need both. <laughs> Turn to Jesus and God with all your petitions, questions, and praise. Regroup, refocus, and press forward with gratitude. If you're going to worry, then why pray? And if you're going to pray, then why worry? Visualize yourself regrouping, refocusing, and pressing forward with gratitude and with God releasing and rejecting worry, breathing into the peace that comes from the confidence we have in God, letting go 
of images and biases that society carelessly tosses your way. (laughs) Refusing to entertain what doesn't align with God's promise and plan. Intentionally investing time where it matters most. Believing that what's for you is for you, will be for you. And so you will pursue what is divinely aligned and pursuing you. Yes, yes. So let's pause for several seconds to allow that to resonate. Do you feel his grace and presence? Ah, embrace it. Yes, let's pray together. I am so hype. (laughs) I'm super hype. Oh, this just, this filled me up. This filled me up. I hope it did for you too. So let's pray. Father, I opened my eyes and took a breath today because of you. Thank you. It is not my will, but yours that wakes me each day. Thank you for that grace and this gift. You are my fortress, my protector, my healer, my provider, my best friend. And I love because you taught me how. I tell any worry that lingers within me to leave now. It has no place in my space. Fear has information, but I choose not to marinate in that state. I acknowledge it and release it. What has happened has made its impact and it is now in the past. I can't pause it, change it, so I'm choosing to let it go. I will not choose to be enslaved. What may come, you already know, Father. So I trust in your direction and thank you for the grace and mercy you extend to me. I know I am free in you and by your power and authority. I stand in agreement with you in partnership, embracing the energy of activated faith that fills me. I speak to doubt with the power you extend to me and I command doubt to disappear and call on its replacements, belief, understanding, and conviction. I praise you, Father, for our relationship. I pray to you with a desire to strengthen what we have together and the links we share with others giving you all the glory in your name as a believer and follower of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes. Amen. And with that family, I pray that you are blessed, that you see and embrace your blessings and that you are a blessing to others. I love you. Go out there and make today an awesome day. Take care. Hi family. If what I shared in today's message resonates with you, I hope you will share it with others. Feel free to leave positive comments and reviews on my site, breakingbreadwithnatasha.com, and through whichever podcast provider that you're listening to me. Each day, I work to be a better steward and servant. I hope you will join me in sharing God's love and truth and rebuking the enemy's lies. Now go out there and make today an awesome day. I love you all.